Hello, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about more graphical displays for quantitative data, but specifically how to describe those graphical displays. So when you're talking about a graphical display for quantitative data, it's a lot different than categorical data because it actually has kind of a, a flow to it, or we could say a distribution. And that helps us to know in statistics how to deal with the particular data set. A lot of you are probably used to a distribution called the bell-shaped distribution or the normal distribution. And you know it's that shape because, or you know that it's a normal distribution because of the shape of the distribution. So when you describe a distribution, I have four things that you're gonna to need to talk about. You wanna talk about the center, the variability, the shape, and if there are outliers present. Now, one of the things I always tell students is you want to describe a distribution in such a way that if you couldn't see it, you actually would be able to know what the distribution looked like just based on these four things. Now, the other thing to know is that there are certain times that you would choose different centers. There are certain times you would choose a different variability measurement. And that usually has to do with these last two. So your choices for number one and two and how you describe the center or how you describe the variability would be based on the shape of the distribution and the presence or absence of outliers. Now, in this particular set of data, when we are talking about quantitative data, you have two options for a center. You can use the mean, uh, which is also a synonym for average, but in statistics we call it the mean, and or you could choose the median. And again, there are times when the median is better and there are times when the mean is better. And then you have some different options for variability as well. For variability, you could choose the range. You could choose what we call the interquartile range. And you can choose what we would call standard deviation. So those are different measurements. And if you're not sure what those are, check out different videos that will discuss the mean, median, range, IQR, and standard deviation. But essentially, those are the options that you have for describing a distribution. Now, I will tell you that the mean and probably the, the range and standard deviation all kind of go together. However, the median and the IQR would be ones that go together. So if you're going to choose the mean, you would choose it along with the standard deviation. If you're going to choose the median, you would choose that along with IQR. And again, that's based on shape and outliers. Essentially, if you have outliers present, and outliers are values that stray far away from the bulk of the data, if they're creating skewness, so a drag or a pull where that data isn't symmetric, that's going to significantly impact the mean, which in turn significantly impacts standard deviation because standard deviation uh, uses the mean in, in its calculation. So if you have outliers that are impacting the shape and making it skewed, you would not want to choose the mean and standard deviation because they're significantly impacted by those outliers. So in the presence of outliers, measurements that are robust would be the median and subsequently IQR because they're not dragged or pulled out by those outliers. So keep that in mind. And in future videos, I will show you different shapes for a distribution. And we'll talk about uh, what you would call those and the different definitions. See you then.